Welcome to the nosebleed section, where the view from the best seats in the stadium might be hot, but the insights go even deeper. Join your host, Dr. Lou Marciani, Director of the Innovation Institute for Fan Experience. We're pulling back the curtain on the sports and entertainment industry, one episode at a time. From the top row of the venue, we're taking a wide-angle look at the evolving fan journey. Each episode, we'll be joined by trailblazers, innovators, and game changers who are rethinking what it means to create a safer, smarter, and more electrifying experience for fans, staff, and stakeholders alike. This is more than a podcast. It's a front row seat to the future of sports and entertainment. Mash the subscribe button and set an alert so that you never miss Dr. Lou's view from the nosebleed section. All right, folks, take your seat, enjoy your adult libation, and let's get into it. Here's Dr. Lou. Welcome, everybody, to the IIFX Bleacher Section podcast series. Special day today, we have uh, Intel Corporation with us today. And Moria, how are you today? I'm doing very well, Dr. Lou. Thank you so much for having me. Well, I, you know, I wanted to spend time with the industry to, to really raise the awareness of Intel's uh, ongoing support for roster venues and its efforts to enhance all aspects of the stadium, you know, operations and, and, the, and the fan experiences, you know? So let me get started. Uh, how is technology being leveraged to enhance the fan experience today at sports venues and stadiums? You know, I get asked this type of question all the time about the technology and maybe, you know, where I, where I will start, I'll step back just a little bit. When we look at stadiums and venues of today, I think they play a really critical role in terms of being, bringing people together, creating memorable experience and something that is, you know, surprise and delight, something that brings people together in a community. And I think we're seeing them become much more intelligent, much more sustainable and just fan oriented altogether. I think venue operators are starting to take pieces from different playbooks from different industries and pulling them into their thinking about what that venue looks like, particularly the next iteration of the venue um, that is going to bring fans together. Well, how does Intel play a role in that then? Yeah, I think for Intel, you know, that adage of Intel inside, I think really applies here. Intel works across a greater ecosystem to ensure that whatever technology capabilities are brought forward for that fan experience or operations or security and sustainability of that location, we're working across the ecosystem to bring in that computing power. So it's really behind the scenes. So when we talk about everything from frictionless checkout in a particular location, or making it very easy for crowd flow to come in from the parking all the way into their seat. Um, whatever that type of experience is, we're working with providers from the hardware side, network side, all the way through a solution provider on the software side to help go empower that experience to be delivered. So when we talk about technology, you know, of course, we probably can't, can't get through this without talking about artificial intelligence. So whether it's computer vision, Agentic or Gen AI, these different capabilities are going to come into play. And they're going to come into play because of the amount of devices that are out there. And just frankly, um, consumers, you know, every day interacting in the digital world. And I think there are lessons to be learned and different pieces of those technologies to be brought into the experience within a venue. And that's the role of Intel. Then. Yes, is to really make sure, again, behind the scenes, we're helping to power that. And that's truly from the compute. What does it take to power that type of experience, whether it's in the hand of your device, through a register, all the way up through the network, and then to the cloud? So when you go into a venue and you're meeting with their staff, how do you approach them to, so that they understand the capabilities of Intel? Yeah, Intel plays an interesting role because we are so far behind in the scenes of things down at that compute level from a technology staff. Um, we work with so many different providers across the ecosystem. And by providers, I mean those that are creating those technology solutions uh, that venue operators will be bringing into their location. And so whenever I work with a um, 
you know, venue owner that is looking to solve a problem. It really starts with what is the problem and what is the strategy of that venue operator? What are they trying to achieve within that location? And then as we talk through that, it's really understanding what are the capabilities that they need to bring forward to be able to go power that experience or solve the challenge that they're, um, you know, needing to be met. That's the great experience that Intel can bring. Because we sit across many different areas and we are looking globally, not only at venues, but also at retail and hospitality and grocery, so many other consumer industry touch points, we try to bring in that information and kind of the best, you know, learned opportunities or knowledge into that circumstance to help um, educate, to help, um, you know, our partners or in customers think more um, broadly about the opportunity to serve end to end. Very well said. You know, a very important part of managing a venue, you know, is number one is security, right? And uh, what role does you think technology plays in improving security measures at stadiums? And how does it uh, really contribute to a safer environment for the fan? Yeah, I think security is, you know, a critical backbone, particularly in a venue or a stadium. And it's a conversation that we constantly have. Um, I will say, I think most venues are probably the gold standard um, across all industries when it comes to the safety, security, and health and well-being of their fans that are coming to that location or the local community. And so technologies today um, really are kind of behind the scenes because when we think about security, you know, security shows up from an experience as being easy, frictionless, uh, non-confrontational, um, and helps me get to my experience that I want in my seat, right? Moving me as fast as possible, but in a way in which I have high trust with that venue operator and what is, um, you know, whatever event it may be. Uh, but the technology that comes into play is everything from cameras to sensors to um, data aggregation to the ability then to operationalize that data very quickly from a number of inputs to help inform those within operations and security to be able to take right actions. So, um, technology today is really a scaling motion for most of our security efforts. Because when we think about the size of the venue, when we think about all the different locations in the venue and around the venue, the surrounding areas, it is very impossible to have all of your security be able to um, see every aspect. And so technology helps to extend a team's capability or security capability in new ways. And then for the data aggregation piece, when we talk about AI, and the ability to pull in all of those different data inputs and the ability to sort through that data in a meaningful way to then drive a next action for security, that's the power that we're seeing. And again, as, as a fan going into the stadium, you're probably not gonna know any of that and you really shouldn't, but that those are some of the key um, things that you know technology today can offer within the secure space and help those teams from an operational capacity. Oh, no question about it. And, you know, there's pressure on us to raise, uh, raise revenues, yep. but there's also pressure on us to optimize stadium operations and improve efficiency. Mm -hmm. In what ways does data analytics help me someday in my stadium to do what I just said? Yeah. So operations is key. And I think, you know, operations across, frankly, any industry, any type of consumer facing business is really important. You know, how do we, um, optimize that bottom line, because if we can optimize the bottom line and we have growth, you know, we can go invest in new ways into our business, which is exactly what we want to be able to do. Um, achieving optimal operations does require a heavy data component. Um, you know, often when we think about organizations, they have processes, they have people, a part of those processes, and then they have the data that is collected out of those things. Um, Data today, and particularly, again, very similar to security, when we talk about artificial intelligence and the um, computing power to crunch all of that data to drive the insights to drive efficiency. So that could be anything from overlooking the venue as a whole to be able to say, where do we have great flow? Where do we have potential issues and flow? How do we... Um, 
um, mitigate that issue? And how do we also do that in the spirit of giving a great experience that again, feels safe and secure? What can we do from that standpoint? Planning, mm -hmm. overall planning. Um, how do we drive efficiency in that planning process, particularly as we're going to drive new investment to do a you know update to our venue? How do we use um, new types of technologies that can drive 3D modeling so that we can all work together to see what could be future state and how we go problem solve or drive new business within that type of view? So I think there's many things that are there from the operational standpoint. The one shout out I will also give is around um, you know, the service providers within that venue. So whether it's someone that's working in concessions, whether that's someone that's a server, whatever that may be, um, how do we arm them with better information about maybe what's happening in their current vicinity or within their business processes that they own so that they can go effectively remedy that for the fan as fast as possible. So I think there's a lot of different examples that we're seeing. Um, and the tough part though is bringing it all together in the package of the fan experience that the venue operator is trying to drive overall. That's right. You know, we, the last few minutes we have, I want to get into innovation and AI a little bit more. What mm -hmm. you've seen it more than certainly um, I, than I have. What are the most exciting AI driven innovations for in the sports industry? What, what do you or sports for for, uh, for sports venues? I should say. Yeah, I think some of the um, AI opportunities that I'm seeing that are are fun. What I would say fun and pretty exciting and help do a few things. One, I think help goes and drives a better fan engagement experience with the team or whatever the entertainment piece is. I think also there is a operational opportunity in terms of learning and driving a better venue experience for potentially sports team. And third, I think there are areas where people are starting to look at, or I should say, um, ownership is starting to look at how do we potentially get new monetization streams. So what I'm referring to are the analytics that are captured on different sports teams in terms of their metrics, in terms of being able to display and showcase those metrics in real time to the fan base, whether they're sitting in the seat in the stadium, whether they're wa walking the golf course with their favorite um, golfer, whatever that may be, there's new ways to bring those analytics forward in an exciting visual way that allows me to engage with that information, my player or sports team, while I may be in real time in the actual event. And I think that's pretty cool. It's the next level of keeping me tied in to the, to the sport that I love with the data points that I love. If you think about it of past, those things were very disconnected. Maybe you're watching, maybe you're listening to a different, you know, um, sports caster who kind of gives you the favorite play-by-play, -play. but now we're starting to connect those things with technology, using cameras, using sensors, et cetera, and analytics to pull it forward. And then you think about the application of that within the venue design, you think about that in the application of potentially new opportunities to take those metrics, and use them in new ways with your fans or even with the sports teams. And I think that's the exciting possibility. And again, these are things that just seamlessly, you know, surprise and delight. Wow, I didn't realize, wow, this is great to have all of this information. It just becomes a seamless part of that experience overall versus, you know, this heavy overlay in which I've got to go do something different that is not normal to me watching or engaging in the um, sports team or the event that I'm attending. You know, you mentioned the word partners a lot today. Mm -hmm. how, how do industry partners collaborate with partners and stakeholders to drive this innovation? How does that work? Yeah, that's a great question. So yeah. often when I say partners, I'm talking about um hardware and software and cloud solution providers that are trying yeah. to help solve a problem. And often when we work with venue operators or many industries, it's not just one of us that can go solve it. Why? Because there's usually a software component and there's a hardware component in which you have to touch something or there's a device at play and they have to work together because we all have our core competencies that play off of each other. And so the work that I do is a lot of fun being kind of the back end, the compute behind that, the power behind it. 
because we had to work with different partners that have different capabilities and core competencies that come in together to focus in on a problem and the strategy overall and say, here are the options on how we could go solve that. Do these meet your needs? How do we test that for you? How do we learn from that? How do we share those learnings to you? And then come away with an actual solution that works at scale for that um, you know, venue. That's the fun part. That's the problem solving. And that's what I mean by working together with our partners on solving a problem and figuring out the best solution to meet the need of that venue and the strategy overall for that fan experience. Well, what I heard today is the word solution. Solution, yeah. and, that's, and that's what drives you. Uh, what a wonderful uh, podcast and time I spent with Maria. Thank you so much. How can people contact you? Yeah, absolutely. So people can email me, uh, maria.zorodovich at intel.com. Also can connect with me on LinkedIn. Happy to direct any conversation or even help you find find what you may be looking for within the greater ecosystem of technology. Uh, but Intel, myself, the team, we are here to help you go solve that problem and find a great solution. Wow, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely, Dr. Lowe.